what is the healthiest of food that you are eating they are not helping your body but they are harming your body because you are eating those food at the worst time these are the times when your body does not need food so if your body does not need food at these times what does it need we'll find out in the video hi this is murta shakir and welcome to another video to help you stay healthy effortlessly before we move in to identify what are the worst time that you should not be eating food let's understand that why do we eat food so there are three primary roles when we talk about eating food the first one is energy so the food that you eat it gives you energy the second is for the building so basically these foods have the chemicals and molecules which acts as the building blocks for your muscles your tissues your organs and entire system and the third one is the entire processing and maintaining of all the systems in the body from the respiratory system to the circulatory system to all the systems now when the energy and when the building and when the processing is in alignment you are basically utilizing the best out of the food but what if the digestive system is not ready to digest the food and if the digestive system is not ready to digest the food it cannot take the three benefits from the food and in fact it starts harming the body and it starts storing the unhealthy fats inside your body making you insulin resistance and creating other health issues so what are these three times that you should never be eating food the first one is when you are stressed now the stress word can imply a lot of things it could be fear it could be anxiety it could be emotional trauma you are feeling lonely there is a breakup there is a bad job there is something which is putting stress and distress on your body on your mind you are upset emotionally and mentally now when you are upset emotionally and mentally the digestive system completely shuts down because it is under the influence of parasympathetic sorry it is it is under the influence of sympathetic nervous system which is the flight and fight response now when the body is under the influence of sympathetic nervous system the entire digestive system gets compromised because at this time the body does not need food imagine you are in a jungle you are surrounded by wild animal and someone comes and gives you food on the plate would you enjoy that food your primary agenda is to save yourself from the wild animals and run away you are not interested in eating food though you might be extremely hungry but you will still not eat the food because your primary agenda is to save yourself the same thing applies to the body when you are stressed because the brain cannot distinguish between a real threat which is a lion or the wild animals or the perceived threat it could be a bad relationship it could be a bad job it could be financial loss or any emotional upset or trauma the body reacts the same way which it reacts when it sees an external threat so the sympathetic nervous system completely shuts down or kind of compromises your digestive system you must have observed when there is an examination or when you are nervous you don't feel like eating though you are hungry but you don't feel like eating because the digestive system is completely compromised so whenever you are upset you are lonely when you are sad when you are not feeling good don't go and take shelter in food and in fact that is what most of the people do when they are upset when they are depressed when they are sad they want to go and eat food and not the healthy food but they will eat all the unhealthy and sugar loaded food and that creates more health issues so your digestive system is first not ready to accept food and you are giving the food which are extremely unhealthy for your body so when you are stressed you don't have to eat food you have to go and take support talk to your loved one talk to a coach talk to a mentor take help but don't eat food the second when you don't have to eat food is when you are tired now this could be you have come late from work at home or you know you have come for a long travel and you are tired now when you are tired 
the body needs sleep and rest it does not need food and if you are tired you eat you stuff yourself with food and you immediately go to sleep the food that you eat will not be digested your sleep will be compromised and the next day morning you will feel more angry you will feel more irritated and you will feel more hungry and you will crave more unhealthy and processed food so when you are tired your body needs rest either in a form of a nap or a sleep or some rejuvenation or some break from the work that is happening but not food now when you talk about coming home late from work and it is time to sleep then what i recommend is don't eat the food you can just have a glass of milk and one date or any other light fruit and just eat it and then you can go to sleep because these are lighter food which the body can immediately digest while even when you go to sleep so when you are tired you need rest make sure when you come late from your work you avoid eating late dinners have your food early because after 8 9 pm the body the entire digestive system is going under rest the body now needs sleep it does not need more food so when you are tired make sure you are not feeding yourself with excess food a glass of milk or a piece of date would be more than good enough and you can immediately go to sleep the third one is you should not eat when you are not hungry or when you are bored so a lot of people are eating to pass time they are bored they don't have any good purpose or meaning in life and they just have food surrounded in front of them and they say oh this is these are healthy food so i have dates i have uh, cashews i have walnuts i have uh, almonds everything is there on my desk but you are eating them without even realizing that your body the digestive system you are not hungry so if the system is not hungry and you are giving food to the system the system will not utilize that food for energy building or the maintenance process that food will create problems in the body it will store excess fat you will create insulin resistance and other food cravings so when you are bored when you don't know what to do you don't need to eat food you know you need to go and find some meaningful work some purpose in your life because food is not going to solve your problems of you know i don't have anything to do i feel bored throughout the day so whenever you are stressed when you are tired and when you are bored you don't need to eat food and one more thing i would like to add is that you cannot eat food in the middle of the night so let's say oh i am hungry i wake up at 1 am and i feel hungry that is not the time to eat food your body is under the influence of sleep and rest so do not disturb that process of rest and sleep by putting food and not even food you cannot even drink water in the middle of the night because that is the time where your digestive system is resting and repairing itself and when something is under maintenance and when something is under repair you cannot use it so like you give your car or bike for maintenance you have to wait unless it comes out of the maintenance you cannot use your car bike while it is under maintenance so make sure you are not feeding your body food in the middle of the night or at the late night not when you are bored not when you are tired and not when, and not when you are stressed so when you should eat you should eat only when your body gives you the sign of hunger that is where your digestive system and your brain and all the organs are giving you the signal that you know i am hungry give me the food and when you give your body food when you are at the time of hunger that is the time when your body will utilize that food for energy building and the maintenance process so i hope this video helps you eliminate or avoid eating food at these four times which will make sure that your body and your digestive system works effortlessly as long as you are alive thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and family who you know that you know they are eating at these worst times and if you have any questions about this video please post it below the video 
thank you so much for watching this i'll see you soon in the next video